So I've gotten lots of comments from people over over the over the last few years saying, why don't you slide your axles all the way back? That way you have no swing of the trailer to mess with. Well, you see the problem with if you slide your axles all the way to the rear, it leaves you less room to deal with in front because your truck still needs to uh, have a lot more space in front of the space, basically. You know, that area right in front of the, the parking space that you're going to. When you have your axles all the way back, now your truck needs a lot more room to maneuver. Let me show you an example, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and back up into a space over here. This is just one of the, one of those levels. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and back it in with the axles all the way forward. And then we're going to do the level in, in, after that uh, with the axles all the way to the rear, okay? Now, I believe the physics are pretty true. All right, they're not 100%, but you know, it's close enough. Again, there's a reason why I'm saying this because this is what I experienced in real life. Every time that I was in a place that had a very, uh, very little room in front of the parking space, I would make sure my axles are all the way forward. That gives me, gives me more room. But anyway, so this is just a, this isn't gonna be that difficult. All right, I'm just making sure I avoid everything. Of course, look at all that room I have. Oh, tons of room. Tons of room, staying nice and close, jackknifing when I need to, and we are in in one shot. Wasn't it very difficult, you know? I definitely used some, uh, I definitely, it, it definitely t took a little experience to back it in, but you know, it doesn't seem that that much of a problem, okay? Um, but now let's take a look what it's like with it, with the axles all the way to the rear. Now I'm sorry that you guys don't get to choose where your axles are in the game. That'll be the next, next game, but I don't know when that's coming out, but anyway, so we're just going to do the exact same thing. You know, our, there is no cars coming, so we're, you know, I'm not, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but just, let's, now, just watch how much, just watch for yourself, basically. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now, one thing, if you are going to do this, if you're not close to this car, you're too far away. <laughs> all right. You got to be hugging that car by inches. All right. And there we go. Let's start turning now. Again, I can't start turning too much because the front of my trailer will hit that guy. And I'm just trying to maximize every, every inch. There we go. All right, now I can jackknife some more. Okay, can't jackknife too much because of, uh, we don't want to jump that curve. So we're going to hug that curve. we we'll probably end up hitting that curve. But anyway, okay, now we can just drive straight. That's all I can do right now. All right. Now it's just I can't I can't chase it right now or anything. I'm just because uh, see I need more room. Look, I'm jumping the curb. <laughs> you know, um, so this is a lot more difficult. So let's go ahead and see if I can. Okay, I've already lost two lives there now. All right, let's see if I can. I did something. I didn't do nothing. There is some stuff that I have actually accomplished. All right, there we go. Now we got to go back here again. Now jackknifing hard, maybe not too hard, but it just when you have the axes all the way back, you need more room. All right. Yes, there is no swing at a trailer, so that's great. Oh, there we go. No, see, that's not going to... Well, maybe if I jackknife a little bit more, a fraction that I can't see. Okay, that might be able to help. No, see, that's not going to help at all. Okay, let's try again. We could just do one more pull forward, but again, we're, we have to do the pull forward all the way over here. Uh, okay, I think I might be able to get away with it now. Now I have to start chasing it. Again, it's now just the he, just a heads up. When the trailer is not running parallel to the space, it's going to keep moving over and, and drifting over towards wherever it's pointing towards. It's always going to do that. All right, it's not going to stop moving over towards this trailer until uh, the trailer is running parallel. And you know, so just a heads up. All right, that's in real life too. Okay. Now let's try again. It's still going over, but I've I've managed to do something. Looks a lot better. Okay, let's see if we can pull forward and manage it there. Pull a little bit before we hit the curb. Do, do, do. Okay, so we're in. And then it just, you just got to make sure that you, you, you understand that sliding your axles all the way f uh, to the rear of your trailer, it does eliminate a trailer swing, but it causes more, it causes other problems too. So. If you have a really tight space, like extremely tight space, but you got lots of room in front, all right, yes, slide your axis all the way to the rear. But if you find that your space is actually nice and wide, like this one, but you got no space in front, keep those axes forward, all right? Get out and look 100 times, whatever it takes, as long as you don't lose your job by hitting something, okay? So that's all I'm gonna explain in this video is that 
It's not that black and white to where if you slide your axis all the way to the rear, it eliminates the swing altogether. Uh, cool. All right. Later. Just in case you don't know, the game's called My Trucking Skills. Later. Bye-bye.